we really work to um, incorporate our mission into everything that we do, sort of an all-inclusive approach to our mission. And uh, that includes everything from our teacher-powered model, how we, you know, how we operate the school, but, but most importantly, it's, it's taking this mission of out of the classroom and into the world and really making sure that it affects kids every day in everything they do, whether it's you know, curriculum, um, their overall experience here, um, the family's experience. It's part of our community. It's something that we all take into account and we're all very, we're very close. It's one of the things I like about our school is we're very, we're small. It's a great advantage because we get to know everybody and there's kind of an accountability to be better and to follow those rules and to stay with that. The integration piece came of the innovation was looking at those skills and understanding that each student is going to develop and grow in those differently. It has done beautiful things to the point of we use the skills rubric as a measure for IEP goals and objectives. It's integrated in how we present our seminars for students and it's so ingrained for students that you will see and hear the students using the vocabulary and the terminology as they just pass through the spaces and they're using it independent of our seminars. If you're really low on a skills rubric and you're like, okay, I need to fix this, and then some teachers can help you um, improve at that skill. So it's easier to see where you are. People can like actually work on the skills instead of just ignoring that there's a problem. The, the skills rubric serves to uh, provide a, a holistic frame for, for all students. Like, the idea is we want people coming out of the school being lifelong learners, good people and prepared for the world. Ultimately it gets to what are the skills that, that you need to function in the world both well academically, uh, socially, emotionally, just a, kind of across the gamut and what's going to uh, get you fired up to be someone who wants to learn for the rest of your life. Like the time management was huge for them. Or even the, the being able to plan things was big, that they could understand A, B, C, or you know, if I do this, then this happens, was huge for the boys. So one is in college working on an IT degree, and the other one is in construction, he just wants to work on his hands. But either way you look at it, both of them are utilizing all of the rubric skills that they were taught, and I feel like they're miles ahead of their peers on account of the fact that that was developed in them so much earlier than everybody else. My role has been kind of building that into the conversations I've been having with students about how that relates to their college and career exploration and finding those successes after high school. Or when we're having those one-on-one -on -one conversations about those really tough emotional days or you know, those social conflicts that we're having, you know, whether it be at home or at school, how that relates to the skills that we're talking about on a regular basis here. So, so we take uh, the skills rubric, we refine that, and we start to incorporate that into uh, all aspects of the day. So our advisory, um, student projects, um, how, even how we manage the school. How are we allocating funds? How are we st doing staff development? All of those pieces have to fit too. And so uh, over the course of time, I guess, I don't know, just developed.